this video, we are going to look at how an attacker can compromise a system using the Eternity Malware as a Service Kit. This is a multi-modular malware service that can provide many capabilities including information stealing functionality, a crypto miner and clipper, a worm for malware propagation through popular instant messaging apps, and of course, a ransomware module. We have set up this machine with silence optics in audit only mode to allow malware execution. We will start this demonstration by executing each one of the modules that come with um, this Eternity suite and are present in this folder, ending with the ransomware piece. We will start with the clipper, the Eternity info stealer, as well as the worm, and finally with the ransomware. When we first open these files, we don't see anything unexpected or evidently malicious. But behind the scenes, each module is executing several tasks from information gathering and collection to command and control communication for exfiltration and reporting. And it ends its malicious activities with the typical Ramson node after a couple of minutes. Let's go to our venue console to see what's happening. Through our root cause analysis capability, we can see all the steps taken by these modules. Let's take the Clipper one as an example. We can see all the different steps taken by this module, how it starts the process from the app data folder, creates a scheduled task for additional persistence, as well as multiple values within the registry, and then establishes command and control connectivity. If you take a look at the ransomware piece, we can see how it rewrites all the files present on the system from our PST to all the remaining files present on the system. Silas Gateway can prevent C2 communications from each one of these modules. If we execute these files again from our audit only test system, but this time with traffic protection provided by our CTNA module, we can see how the malware never reaches its command and control. It stops the attacker from deploying any additional modules or instructions. If you go to our, to our uh, venue console, we can see all of the different attempts being blocked by Silence Gateway. In the real world scenario, we will prefer to stop these attempts before any harm can be done. We can take a preventative approach with Silence Protect. Here we have a machine with Silence Protect with a protection policy enabled. Let's execute the same set of modules from Eternity, but this time we will have our preventative policy in place with no internet connectivity. You can see the, here that Silence Protect is able to prevent this malware in pre-execution, safeguarding both our system and our data. Prevention is possible with BlackBerry.